and we will look through two different examples. The first one is to so get a truss. So it has force here as 10 kips. So for this truss, <coughs> the question is to find member forces. <coughs> or find all the member forces. So <coughs> let me <coughs> Number these joints, let's call this joint as A, this as B, this as C. So there are three members. You have member AB, then you have member BC, and you have member AC. So these are three members, which means there's going to be three unknown member forces. There will be the same member force FAB, there's going to be a member force FBC. And there's going to be a member force FAC. Now, <coughs> we need to do a quick count on the unknowns. See, this is a hinge. So that's two reactions. Then you have a roller. That's another reaction. So that gives you three unknown reactions. Then <coughs> we got these three. These are unknown member forces. So that will be three unknown member forces. It gives you a total of six unknowns. Then we have three joints. So <coughs> each joint, you can write two equations of equilibrium. So you have three joints. Then you multiply this by two equations of equilibrium per joint. And when I say you have two equations of equilibrium, what you really have is you have sum of the force x at let's say ith joint to be zero, and you have sum of the force in the y direction on the ith joint to be zero. Because you will not have any <coughs> moment equation. All forces go right through the joint. So your moment equation, let's say if you had moment equation about i, that simply is going to be zero equals to zero. There is nothing on the <coughs> left hand side of that equation. So this equation is basically not there. So for each joint, you really have just these two equations. So this all adds up to six equations of equilibrium. So <coughs> you have six unknowns, and you have six equations. So this problem becomes statically determinate. Or in, in other words, we could say that you have enough equations to solve for every unknown in this particular problem. All right, after this test, <coughs> since we are sure that we have enough equations, then first thing will be to consider what's called as the overall equilibrium. <coughs> so we redraw the same truss. You have a force here, that's 10 kips. Then there's going to be a reaction AX. There's going to be a reaction AY. And there's going to be a reaction BY. Then you have <coughs> the geometry of 5 feet here, 5 feet here, and 5 feet here. So this is 5 and 5. So this angle is going to be 45, this angle also going to be 45. <coughs> so from this, I can sum the force along x 
that should be zero. It gives you your first reaction as zero. Then you sum the force in y direction. You get a y b y minus ten. That goes to zero. Then I can choose a point. Let's say a. So at the moment, about that point to be zero. <coughs> that gives you ten times five with the negative b y with the ten. That goes to zero. So <coughs> you get p y as five kips. So from here you get a y as five kips. That goes up and that goes up. 